Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Michael. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, click that subscribe button and also drop a like. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at everything that's new today in iOS 12.4 beta one. So we are only 19 days away from WWDC and the first beta of iOS 13. And now we have a uh, first beta of iOS 12.4. So Apple is definitely not uh, stepping down with the releases of the new betas for iOS 12. And my prediction is when iOS 13 comes out, Apple will be dropping dropping support for many devices. And uh, Apple's main focus here on iOS 12.4 should be uh, to maintain stability on the older devices that will not be getting iOS 13, since this will be the last operating system that those uh, devices will see. So there aren't that many uh, new features here in iOS 12.4. Uh, this is kind of the pattern that we've been seeing with Apple recently. Uh, they'll, they'll release a new update like 12.2, 12.3, or 12.4 in this case and it's a whole new dot update, but we don't really see any new features. There is one small little change that I will talk about in this video, but it is nothing major. So the update did come in at uh, 2.84 gigs on my iPhone XS Max. Uh, this is completely normal because I was coming from iOS 12.3, the public release that did come out a few days ago. Um, I think when we update to beta two and then beta three of iOS 12.4, the update size should get uh, very small as we go from beta to beta. So like I said, the one new change is in the wallet application. Now this was expected uh, simply because there is a new uh, Apple product coming out in the summer called Apple Card, uh, which is their own credit card. It's not coming to any other countries other than uh, the United States. So if your phone is set to a region other than the US, you might not see this, but it says uh, first steps with Apple Pay if you don't have anything added uh, to your wallet app. So this is in German. I uh, couldn't find a screenshot online that was in English, uh, but pretty much translated this just says first steps with Apple Pay. And uh, if you don't have any passes or any cards added to your wallet application, so this is what you'll see when you open up wallet for the first time if you don't have any passes or any cards added to your wallet application. Uh, just a nice little splash screen when you open it. Uh, it's a little bit better than just seeing nothing in the application it's kind of colorful so it's not really anything new it's just a new little diagram that Apple added inside the wallet application just kind of as a placeholder until you start adding uh, new cards I do know that this button even though it's in German I can't translate this because I don't speak German it does look like it's a button that will take you to the App Store so I think this will take you to the App Store and it will link you to a whole bunch of different applications that can take advantage of the wallet application so uh, different rewards points applications and stuff like that uh, other than credit cards so that is kind of cool, a new little splash screen in Wallet. Uh, I haven't really noticed any other changes. I uh, have noticed a bug has been fixed coming from iOS 12.3. So whenever I open the settings app now, my image, my profile picture loads instantly. Before this wouldn't happen. If I killed the settings app and opened it up again, it wouldn't think I had set a profile picture even though I've had a profile picture in my phone for three years now. So now in iOS 12.4, uh, my profile picture finally loads when I do a cold start of the settings app. So thank you Apple for fixing that. It has been long overdue. But other than that guys, that is pretty much it for iOS 12.4, a very small update. Unfortunately, I did have a lot of stuttering with this update after I installed it. I uh, closed out of Safari, I think it was, and my entire phone froze and glitched out for I'd say five or six seconds. So that might've just been the phone indexing all the files after it completed the update. It might've just been a really bad bug. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I will have a video coming out in a few days here talking about battery life and performance of iOS 12.4. Let's quickly go ahead and take a look at the build number before I wrap up this video. So I'll zoom in my camera here. And if I tap on iOS 12.4, it's a very long build number. So 16G. Uh, 5027G. So since it ends in a letter there, you do know that it is a beta, and because of the uh, very long length of that build number, you uh, you are aware that it is a first beta. So uh, take this update with a, uh, a, a grain of salt. It is not a very stable update, uh, just as far as my experience goes. So uh, be careful when you install this. Only install this if you are aware of the potential bugs that could come with a, uh, a first beta. So guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next video.